What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Business and Travel Podcast. My name is Jackson Dean, and I will be happy to be your host today on another episode about a lot of feedback. Again, the more feedback I get, guys, the more I will just uh, literally talk and teach and give you guys what you want. Last episode, I got a lot of uh, questions and comments about the business profile transition that we spoke about and why you wanted to do that. And uh, one of the things that I didn't get to go through, which was intentional, was the step two of our seven steps uh, guide that we put out there about Instagram marketing tips, which is on our website. You can find that over at socialgrowthmedia.com forward slash resources. Uh, It's free, really good, and uh, really helpful. And just Uh, goes into a lot more detail than I can sort of present with audio because uh, it's not so visual. However, I will elaborate a little bit further for all you guys that are following this and tuning in, um, hopefully rewarding you guys with that information that you're looking for that elaborates on the topics that we're talking about. So this week we're talking about more of the digital marketing side of things with Instagram and sort of why we're doing uh, what we're doing with step two, which is inserting a link in your biography and some of the things that you can do around that to uh, create revenue, create more sales and uh, boost your business. So the first thing you want to do when you have your business profile set up or if you have your Instagram profile set up is you want to put a link in your biography. And this is really the monetization step of Instagram. So if I was just to verbally you know, explain the process of making money out of Instagram, for example. This is a question I get all of the time, but it's it's fairly logical how you do make the money. Then it's sort of about your strategy on, on how you do that. So to rewind it all the way back to the start, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a business account on Instagram. Okay, that's step one. From there, you've got to have a business, okay? So most people that are doing this obviously already have a business idea, they have a product and they have or they have a service, okay? So in your Instagram, you're going to want to set up, you know, a biography that explains exactly what your product or service is, what your business is and why people should engage with your, uh, with your Instagram and with your company. So keep it precise, keep it straight to the point. I'm going to do a whole episode on biography copywriting very shortly. Uh, but for now, make sure it's, it's, it's short, it's sweet, it's punchy, it's to the point, And it tells the user on Instagram exactly what your company does. At the bottom of that biography, though, you're going to have a link that you're allowed to insert. And that link is going to direct uh, wherever you want it to. It could go to your YouTube channel, for example, if you've got a vlog. It could go to your website, if you've got a website. It could go to a sales funnel that you build, which I'll explain in a moment what a sales funnel is in a little bit more detail. But it'll take that Instagram user off Instagram and direct them to where you want them to go. And that's really how you create money out of Instagram. All right. So on Instagram itself, you know, there's a few different ways that you can create an income, whether it be sort of becoming a micro influencer or a macro influencer over time, um, you know, selling products, doing affiliate marketing. There's heaps of different stuff that you can do with inside Instagram. But the main way that you make money out of Instagram is using your Instagram as a traffic source. Okay. So what you want to do is get as much traffic to your Instagram as possible. And that means you want to be posting a lot of good content. It means you want to be building a lot of engagement in your little Instagram community. And then what you want to do is direct that community of targeted followers, that community of people to your link in your biography, which is then going to take them to where you are going to make money. And that is either through a sales funnel or on your website, selling your products and selling your services and and, obviously growing your business. So that's the basic concept of of why we're using Instagram. Then um, obviously you've got the stats supporting that, you know, this method of, I guess, making money is, is 10 times more effective than Facebook marketing or Facebook advertising, just simply because the Instagram community is 10 times more engaged than Facebook at a baseline minimum. 
you know, anyone can relate to that. If you're listening to this and you've got a anything on Facebook, whether it's a Facebook business page or a product or you're doing something on Marketplace, it doesn't really matter. You can attribute the fact that as soon as you do the exact same thing on Instagram, it just seems to get a whole lot more engagement. And so that's why we're using Instagram. From there, we're going to put a link in our biography to convert, you know, that 10 times more engagement that we're receiving on, on Instagram into 10 times more sales on our website. That's the general idea anyways. So there's a lot of things that play a part in, in obviously making the money off the back end. And some of those things are as simple as your page load speed on your website. It's been a big problem for me and a lot of clients all throughout the years of just having high quality code and high quality developers that getting your website properly optimized so that when people do land on that website, they can easily do what you want them to do. And that's going to be to buy a product or a service from you. And you want that to be an easy and seamless experience for the user. So that's, I mean, why you, you want to, focus so heavily on on the back end of your website. And there's so many different things we can go through on that. A, a really easy place to start is uh, if you're looking to build a website, if a, a real cheap, easy website, obviously you can just build one on something like Wix.com. You can also uh, build websites on Shopify if you're selling e-commerce products. That would be my recommendation if you are selling e-commerce products. Or if you're looking to just sell um, informational products and services such as ebooks or videos or educational, you know, there's so many different things you could sell, but sales funnels are going to be your best solution there. And your best software solution there is going to be click funnels. All right. Now, when it comes to the links for that, I would just check out the podcast page on our website. We'll have all the links attached there. But that's really the process of, of setting up a back end to your Instagram business. All very basic uh, from my point of view. When it, when it comes to making the money and the dollars, obviously it gets a little more complicated than that. But, you know, you can go into a lot of detail. And if you're motivated to go into a lot of detail on Instagram marketing, you're going to get some pretty massive results, which we see ourselves and through all our clients and students. So, if you'd like to learn more about, you know, just sort of taking your Instagram to that next level, you know, these tidbits of information should hopefully get you motivated to get something started. But if you want uh, an expert outcome, you know, you need an expert solution and you need to go to the experts. And that's what we're here for, guys. So if you want to give us a call, shoot us an email, download our resources, ask some questions. We're just here for you. Uh, ask us how we can help you specifically because, you know, everything is is tailored. You know, you can't really have a one size fits all you know, solution when it comes to teaching you guys. If you guys need some specific help, reach out and we'll, we'll give you some more specific help to what you're trying to achieve. That's it for today, guys. When it comes to uh, this ebook that we're unpacking that uh, I've written on the website, again, you can just pick that up at socialgrowthmedia.com forward slash resources and you'll get a more visual, uh, easy breakdown of, of what we're talking about. But, you know, today we're just talking about inserting that link into your biography and why you're doing that, which is to drive that traffic from Instagram, drive the, the community that you build on Instagram towards something where you can monetize the actual business model. You can monetize an income out of Instagram. And that's either going to be for your business or your startup or, or your vlog, or there's so many different things that you can do. But that's what the link in your biography is for, guys. Simple, simple stuff makes uh, big, big differences. So, that's it for today. Again, guys, uh, version one's better than version none. So go and try this out. Uh, you know, go and play around with some different links. There's uh, a bunch of different things that you can do there ideas wise. But again, version one is better than version none. Don't try and figure out the best solution first. Just figure out some solution first and then iterate and make it better from there. All right, so I hope that's helped, guys, uh, for today. I'll leave you uh, to it. I wish you all the best with your week ahead and your weekend ahead. Uh, if you have any questions, hit us up on the website. You can hit me up on jacksondean.com.au as well. And I look forward to uh, presenting the next part of this ebook to you guys next week. 
uh, about our seven Instagram marketing tips for business in 2018. Good luck, guys. Execution is everything. So go out there and execute.